at a fire sale on Amazon for a walk-in greenhouse. Uh, so I ordered it. I was really excited. I was going to grow some things. Uh, yeah. Walk, walk in only if you're a very, very short, vertically challenged child. <laughs> I'm still going to try to use it. It was a good buy. So, hello, Grandma DC here. You've seen the quail, and that's uh, the new thing, spring. I had to. I had to have babies and new life in the house. And about the latest news, you know, all I have to say is not one person, not one, offered Chris Rock a hug and a cold compress. Chris, if I was there, Grandma would have given you a big hug and a cold compress and an award as the biggest man in the United States. Because, dang, talk about turn the other cheek, dude. That was amazing. You turned that like a DSP pro. And I was one for 12 years. <laughs> So I know how hard it is to get punched in the face and smile and hand somebody an ice cream cone. I did that for a living. It ain't easy. And Jada, as someone who also was a bald woman because of chemotherapy, oh, be quiet, chemotherapy, and uh, once by choice because during menopause my head kept sweating so bad, um, I have to tell you that had someone called me G.I. Jane, I would have said thank you. <laughs> wow, I got called Uncle Fester. Now that's an insult. <laughs> but in true Grandma DC fashion, I went out and bought an Uncle Fester costume and put dark circles under my eyes and went out for Halloween. Because I was bald. People are going to make fun of it. I even had a boss at work one day. I have, uh, we all know I have hormone problems, which is why I have stage 4 breast cancer. I have uh, a hip that's eaten away, so I have trouble walking. And my doctor just kept telling me for years it was arthritis. So my hips don't swivel when I walk, never have for years. And he saw me walking down the, uh, inside the building. He was probably about maybe 25 feet away. And he saw me, and I'm just walking to work, I'm just walking like I normally walk. And my boss, my superior, starts doing this, walking towards me like a gorilla. I didn't, you know, punch him in the face or send the dog to punch him in the face. If I had one, I would, you know, would I have? No. Get over it, rich people. Come on. You know, and uh, I know most of the people around here in this country who are Trump lovers think that uh, the puncher was in the right protecting his woman. Well, I got to tell you, no, he's in the wrong, and it's illegal to do that. So, uh, he's uh, lost my respect entirely. But Chris Rock, you rock, man, you know? And I think that'll, that'll be the consensus in the end with most people. Um, and I think that uh, Whoopi Goldberg did not word it correctly. I, she did, but she didn't explain it well. She said, you know, the standing ovation... Uh, I think it was people thought it was fake. They thought it was a funny fake routine and they were clapping for the funny fake routine. Uh, and then later when they realized it was real. Oh. Well, the wind's starting to blow. Of course it is because I'm filming and that's what it does. Uh, we've had some chickens die uh, over the winter. I lost all my blues. Uh, I only had two left. And um, so we're getting low on chickens. Not low on roosters, unfortunately. He just doesn't want to shut up when I'm talking. And I'm going to grow a garden. Uh, and I'm going to grow some pain-killing uh, medicinal herbs. I have a license to do that. And I had uh, Lee, Ma uh, Maggie's husband, came over and, bless his heart, I'm going to trade him my van. And he did some gardening for me, getting me ready to garden. And I now have some planters. It's right there. So we're going to do some planting, some up garden. Because with all the tumors in my bones and hips and things, I can't bend over anymore. Can't reach the floor. And uh, I go back in a week 
for more chemo. You don't hear from me for a couple of weeks because I am so sick after I have chemo. Um, sitting on the toilet and hugging a bucket and just, I feel so nauseated and bad that I can't function for two weeks afterwards. My oncologist told me to take on Omeprazole. It's probably just, you know, acid reflux. I'm like, no, it's not acid reflux. It's the chemo. Uh, but I did try it. I did take some Omeprazole, Omeprazole that she uh, prescribed. Didn't work. Made me hiccup for three days. Gave me a stomach pain, but I have that pain anyway from the chemo, so. It didn't work oncologist <laughs> yeah I don't know why she refuses to think that chemo would ever make someone nauseated and sick but that's what I deal with all right I'm back out and dealing with it again and uh, I'm taking my uncle fester self and I am going to uh, sign off like share and subscribe to keep up with the insanity I'll try to keep you up on the baby quail and I'm thinking maybe I should start collecting some uh, eggs I'm getting low on chickens to try to hatch uh, they said they're not uh, letting us have chickens right now because of some bird flu that's going around. So I don't know if that's true. That could be Facebook fake stuff. But uh, why not hatch my own if I can? That's always fun. Talk to you later. Now that I'm not sick and the pain pill's working, I want something good to eat. You know, at this point in your life, it's quality, not quantity and not keto. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm just like... Hey, I have too few days left. Whatever goes in this mouth better taste good. What sounds good? I don't know. I'll just have to think real hard. Suggestions below. <laughs> they, uh, they still will not accept this one little chick hen here. Uh, they all tried to kill her, didn't y'all? Y'all went after and tried to kill her several times. My daughter says once the flock decides someone's out, they're out. So uh, I have named her Chris. And uh, poor little Chris just kept getting beat up on. Anybody watch the news? Know what I'm talking about? Yeah, William down there. <laughs> he uh, he's beating up on everybody pretty bad, but her especially. So, do we think any more will hatch? I don't know. I'm gonna leave them in for a couple of days because I did put some eggs in here a day or two after the first batch. So we could have some latecomers. I don't see any offhand. I need to get those shells out of there so I could tell better. My first attempt at doing pea sprouts. I think I got too much water on them. 